Hey guys, Lakeisha McKinnon making this video real quick, talking about 10 items to remove now. They're cursed objects. Pastor Mike Signorelli did a video. I thought it was excellent. And he was talking about the items and I'm just making a shorter version. Number one is a dream catcher. You may be saying, hey, the dream catcher is catching the bad dreams. Remember, Satan comes as an angel of light. That's witchcraft, that's false hope. If you're having bad dreams, you're having nightmares, then you need to pray, ask the Lord to implore the angels around you, uh, but you don't need that dream catcher. Number two, sage. That's connected to witchcraft. Um, and if you're saying that you're using it for medicinal purposes or to clean your home, use something else. That is something that's big in witchcraft. As Christians, we shouldn't be sage in our house. We have the Holy Spirit. As for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. And none of these accursed items are going to be here. A uh, three, a Ouija board. I know we know, you know, a Ouija board is not good, but did you know that they have digital forms now? There's all types of occult objects. You need to speak with your kids. Make sure that they don't own any of them. Make sure that their friends haven't given them any. In your house, if you are responsible for the items that are in your house. Even though they might say, hey, your kids are entitled to their privacy. If you're living in my house, my rules. So, hey, whatever. Tarot cards. Now, they are more and more common. You need to take inventory of what's inside your home. They even have angel cards. You can't take what the enemy is using for bad and try to turn it around and say this is something used for the Lord. Make sure you don't have tarot cards. Make sure you're speaking with your kids. These are objects that we as Christians don't have, we don't own. Number five, crystals. Let's say healing crystals. Uh, good luck crystals, good luck charms, whatever. Uh, they're becoming so normal now with this new age technology. Deuteronomy 7 and 26. I'm going to put that on the screen. Just make sure that we're not letting the world's belief system come over or overshadow what we know the Lord Jesus Christ requires of us. Number six, religious statues. Peter, Paul, Mary, Joseph. You know, Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the light. He's the only way that you're going to come to heaven. And number number five, let me go back to the healing crystals. Why do we need a crystal to heal us when Jesus Christ, on he took those stripes on the cross so that we could be healed? Number seven, evil books, witchcraft, um, things like that, accursed, I, uh, accursed books. And he even talked about women that are addicted to sexual fantasy books, things like that. You need to be led by the Holy Spirit when it comes to these items in your house and see if these are some accursed things. Eight, evil toys. There's a variety of evil toys. Maybe they represent murder, misconduct. It can be a collector's item. I remember uh, Derek Prince talking about a picture of a dragon that he had in his home once uh, that he had to get rid of because that picture was an accursed item. Uh, number nine, evil jewelry. The all C and I Masonic rings. They could be handed down from generation to generation. Don't try to keep these things. Uh, they are a form of deception. And one thing about it is you can go boldly to the throne of grace and ask the Lord about these items if you feel that they are a curse. If it's, it's jewelry, get rid of it. And like he said, some people try to hold on to it because of its value. Oh, it's gold. It's not worth your soul. Eight evil toys. And evil toys that maybe they represent murder or misconduct or... Um, you just have to see what system, what value system is connected with them. Number nine is evil jewelry. Maybe it's an all-seeing eye. Maybe it's a Masonic ring that was handed down. And it's supposed to ward off evil. If you have any of that evil jewelry, you need to get rid of it. Uh, number 10 is soul tie objects. This can be a picture or it could be something of a loved one. Um, basically, the picture doesn't represent the love but the grieving when that loved one has passed on there is a demonic connection to that grieving there's a season for everything basically like uh, the lord said moses my servant is dead wash your face we have to move on and you know we have to be be careful we have to be wise uh, when it comes to the wiles of the enemy but again you know if you're holding on to something like i have a great big picture of my dad uh that my stepmom had made when he passed away however i know that my dad is in glory 
I know that I will see him again. Um, even if that picture was not there, I hold him in my heart, but I don't need anything that he had while he was on this earth to make me feel close to him because the Holy Spirit is keeping me going because I know that all my loved ones that have passed away, church members, friends, my brother in Christ, when I see them, as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, I will see them again. Um, I don't need a, a candle. I don't need to light a candle. I don't need to to do any of these uh, religious things to feel close to them. But make sure you check out this video that's in the comments. And I wanted to make this video because my people perish because of lack of knowledge. I know a lot of people that have dream catchers and that was the first thing that caught me. So I wanted to make this video so that you can't say that you didn't know you weren't ever told. But thanks for watching the video. Take care. Have a great day.